One thing I absolutely hate is when people are overly positive. Don't get me wrong, I do believe in looking forward and trying your best to get the absolute perfect outcome for yourself. I believe in that kind of positivity and even try to use it in my everyday life, but the positivity that I can't stand is when everyone pretends that everything is perfect. Let's just say a movie comes out. Oh my god, that movie was great! Okay, yeah, that was a pretty good movie, so yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Now let's watch another movie. Okay, that movie was kind of bad. Oh yeah, that movie was good. Okay, maybe that guy has a different taste in movies than me. I get it. Now let's say we're objectively watching one of the worst movies ever made. And this person has the balls to say something like, I could find some entertainment value in that film. Really, man? Really? It comes to a point where the positivity just feels forced and fake. Now, if you're faking positivity and a smile, what does that say about your own happiness? What kind of value does that happiness have if you gotta fake it? If I have to force myself to like this movie, then do I really like it? If I have to work through a mental Rubik's Cube to find out a reason as to why I like something, then do I really like it? At that point, it just feels like an excuse. If everything is good or amazing, how do you determine whether or not something is great or the best? Some negativity needs to be in this world. As much as some people don't really want to hear it, the sun and the moon exist. You have positive, you have negative, you have heads and tails, you have males and females. Light and dark, these are all basic concepts that have polar opposites. North, south, east, and west. Now if you take that all away, what good is happiness if there's no real weight or feeling behind it? How do you determine which girl you want to make your wife if all of them are just great to you? There can be mistakes in multiple factors of life, but we just can't pretend like they don't exist. If we're ultimately not being truthful within ourselves at the end of the day, we're really just allowing everyone around us to end up being mediocre. Yes, it's hard to tell the truth because you don't want to see anyone get hurt by your words. But in actuality, by not telling them what they should know, you're the one who's actually hurting them. You may think they're weak, to a point that you can't tell them what's ultimately going on, but honestly, that can fall back on you as well. Maybe you're too weak to tell them the truth in the first place. I think one should find it within themselves to be able to become open-minded and find and acknowledge the flaws in something, then that goes to show how much your passion and love was really worth. Because if you can find the beauty in something, despite it being so ugly, then in comparison to others, your preferences will speak volumes. At this point, I feel as if to find true happiness, you have to be truthful within yourself. If you're faking your happiness, you're not really going to be happy, as obvious as that sounds. It's textbook common sense, but many people do not apply this in their lives. If you're walking around in life, faking a smile, and everyone just happens to think that everything is going perfect for you, but deep down you're not really happy, then how can anyone try and help you if they don't know how you're really feeling? I feel like to really understand your actual position in life, you have to be honest with yourself and truthful with the people around you because honestly, when you're honest with the people around you, you can be honest within yourself. If you're lying to people, then more often than not, you're actually going to be living a lie. You think that you may not be living it, but the fact that you're allowing it to affect your reality just goes to show how much your life is actually a facade. But it is only like that because that's the way you wanted it. As human beings, we all have an underlying sense of control that we may not be aware of, but it's pretty obvious what it is, and that is the will. And in that sense, you think having a fake smile would be the exact thing that you would need. But if you're faking a smile, trying to willfully 
force a sense of happiness, then is it really in your will to be happy? I know it's pretty crazy to say because there are many different circumstances and prerequisites that can determine an individual's happiness. Because of course, everyone is different. Money can make someone happy, puppies, sunshine, chocolate can make others happy, and so on and so forth. Really, we would fake happiness because we have a reason to. Obviously, there would be a rooting cause as to why we are unhappy, and so in an attempt to stop this unhappiness, we would try to force ourselves to be happy. We would fake it until we make it. But would living a lie actually help us get to where we want to be, rather than accepting the reality not only around us, but within ourselves in order to have the self-awareness and to acknowledge that you are not where you need to be and that what you're doing is not enough to get where you want. By coming to terms, accepting and recognizing this, I feel like in doing so, we as human beings can find ourselves one step closer to that happiness that we've always wanted. If you want to be happy, you have to do something.